Hey friends, tickets are now available for our new series of live workshops taking place in November and December. They're focused on getting coffee professionals and small business owners better prepared for 2023. There's one for coffee professionals, one for those looking to start or grow their business as a coffee consultant, and there's one for customer acquisition planning that's tailored to small business owners. Go to mapperforward.coffee forward slash events to grab tickets or check the show notes for details. Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map It Forward, friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and we are on our final episode of our five-part series with Kira Kennedy. And we have been talking about success and leadership. And it is a it is an interesting time in our industry to say the least. It's an interesting time in the world to say the least. And Kira, you have just retired. Uh, and you're taking a six month break before you decide what comes next. Um, and I want to talk to you about legacy. I want to talk about the idea that being in a pivotal time in our industry and in our world where we don't know how we move beyond things like quiet quitting and the great resignation and all of those kinds of things. I feel like an important part of understanding perhaps some solutions to that is to understand what kind of legacy we want to be able to look back on. What do you think your legacy in the specialty coffee industry is so far, or at least with Baratza? It's, you know... I used to think that my legacy was Baratza and um, and it was, as many people know, it was a hard decision for me to decide to sell Baratza, although I know it was the right decision and that Rebel was a great company to sell to. And as I went through the two year, the last two years working with Breville, I I learned so much. I uh, it was a PhD in integration. It was also a, an incredible way to look at business from a different mm-hmm. point of view from a company that is a billion plus dollar company versus a much smaller company and. I understood how strategy and culture and tech platforms and all those kinds of things come together to help build a company's culture and their brand. And I I never really understood strategy until I realized that Baratza had designed incredible strategies for being a small company that was selling to small retailers Mm -hmm. and that everything about our business was designed perfectly to do that. And it was very fun to to see and learn that. And so it's been incredible. So when I talk about, I thought Bratza was my legacy, I really, about a year into it, I realized that Bratza wasn't my legacy. It was actually um, the people I had worked with that were my legacy. Not only the people at Bratza, but our suppliers and retailers and people within the specialty coffee business that had uh, had watched our brand and watched our culture, watched us to create um, the support team and the the brand that we had created and a legacy of caring, a legacy of uh, helping to grow people. So hiring people and then figuring out how to mentor them and support them as they learn new things with the idea that they, they might need to leave Baratza and move on. And I've gotten many messages from people who have left Baratza and, and just thanked me for the company we were and what they had learned while they were at Baratza. 
and taking it on into specialty coffee into other companies. And so it really was a learning of that, the impact that Bratza, the culture and I have had on people is really the legacy. Mm. And I, I know I've told you Lee this, but I always think of I changing the world is a very difficult thing to do, but we can make ripples. And I'm always saying that what I'm trying to do is throw these little stones in the water and that those ripples, you never know what impact they're going to have on another human being or on a situation. Mm -hmm. And in reading the notes from many friends and, um, I, I will say one of them, which which was very early on, and it was an independent kitchen store, and he was, we were selling an espresso machine before we started in grinders, and mm -hmm. he was explaining to us that we weren't doing a very good job of taking care of the customer, and I say he handed both Kyle and I our heads, which meant, man, he really told us we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> And from that came the customer support team that we had, because we mm. realized that if we wanted to have take care of our retailers and we wanted to take care of the consumer, we really needed to, ha to have a support system that would really care and take care. And he wrote me a note and I haven't talked to him in 10 years, but he had written, read one of the articles and he wrote the note and he said, you know, you're one of the kindest people and one of the fastest learners. And it, we're going to miss you. Aww. And thank you. And I think it was that we didn't do a lot of things right. But when we did something wrong, we did learn something mm. from it. And from that went back to how do we do a better job in being a better partner for anybody we're partnering with, whether it's our employees or our retailers, our manufacturer. And so I would say that as I read the comments and as I leave, I would say that culture, a culture, a people-oriented culture and a culture of care and treating people with respect um, are a legacy. And one that I would say our world needs more of, not less of. Mm -hmm. And as we, we treat people kindly, whether, whether um, they're doing what we want them to, whether we're in conflict, whatever, they're still human beings and they deserve to be treated with dignity. And how do we take that into our jobs every day? And I guess, I hope that's a legacy that I'm leaving behind. Did you as a leader set out to have that kind of a legacy or did you just build and that's the legacy that you have left at Baratza as a result of that? Oh, I don't think I ever thought of a legacy like that. I really just put one step in front of the other and realized that the world works a lot better when people are working to help you be successful and that a lot of people help me be successful. And I would say part of that is because I asked for a lot of help and I was honest about the mistakes I was making and I was thankful and kind about it. And so I think in, I really, I'm optimistic about people because in general, I think people like helping other people. They like helping other people be successful. And together, I think we can solve a lot of the problems that we have. And I think that, uh, I think it's leaders like you that give me, well, I know for a fact that it's leaders like you and in particularly you as a leader that gives me hope that if we do come together through this phase that our industry and our world is experiencing right now, 
and we do lean into this very challenging time with quiet quitting and great resignations and all those kinds of things that are going on, we will come out the other end having a solution that works for many. It may not be one solution. It may be 55 different solutions. But I think if we have an intention of creating a legacy as an industry, those people who are leading in the industry right now, if we can focus on a legacy that says, hey, we solved these problems and we did it with uh, empathy and we did it with uh, intention and we did it without having to trick people and we did it with a knowing that these are problems that exist have existed for a ju- these are problems that have existed for a few generations in our industry and we don't want to have to, to let the next generation be responsible for fixing that we we want the ripple effects to start with us yes each one of us each one of us Because this isn't one of those problems that's going to be easy. Like this is one of those problems where each of us have to dig down and say, what am I responsible for? Like what am I bringing to this problem? Right. And And what am I causing? Yeah. Because we definitely cause our own problems and, uh, and I'm... I'm excited to see all the people that are working to solve these problems and um, and it's exciting, it's, right? It is. It's 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 very exciting to look and see where we will be two years from now. I'm excited to see where Brazza will be two years yeah. from now. Uh, because the team of people there are the team of people that I was working with. And they are in new jobs and working to hold on to the culture that Bratza had and also incorporate the good of Revel into that culture. And so I think it's fascinating to look at how the two companies are going to come together with this new management team Mm. and with the belief that Bratz a brand can continue into the future. And so I'm excited about what Bratz will do and what the industry will do and where we, it, it feels painful right now and it is painful, mm. but where we're going and some of the solutions that are being put out there by people are working very hard to solve the, a lot of these problems including you, Lee. Thank you, my friend. One of my biggest assets is having people like you in my life. And for people who don't know, Kira was the first person that, first of all, supported this podcast uh, with sponsorship. But second of all, Kira was the person who said, keep going. Uh, Kira was the person who said to me, what you're doing is brave and what you're doing is important and what you're doing needs to be done so just keep going and it happened at a time where I was actually thinking about is this is this worth continuing on with and we hit six years this year and a a lot of that has to do with people like you saying you got this it's going to be hard it's going to be really, really hard, but that shouldn't be why you don't do it. And when you have people like you who who I know know what it really means to say that, you're not just saying that because you want to be positive and rah-rah and all that. That's No, you know what it is to do hard things and you know what it is to survive them and you could see how hard this was going to be and it has been and it has been worth everything to do it. And it really is about the relationships that you make in business that make it worth it. It's all about the people. It's all about the special people. Yep. And thank you, Lee, for all you do. Thank you for the legacy that you have left so far in our industry. I selfishly hope that you will uh, choose to do something in specialty coffee, uh, in coffee in general, but um if not, I know 
whoever it is and wherever it is that ends up lucky enough to have you working with them, around them, mentoring them, all of that kind of stuff. It's a huge privilege to be in your circle. And so we, we have as an industry have benefited from Kira Kennedy being a part of this industry. It is a better industry because it's been touched by you and I'm privileged to be a friend. So thank you for everything that you do and I wonder if you would do one small favor for me before you go. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you would sign off with our usual sign off, the peace, love and peanut butter. (laughs) Oh, to peace, love, and peanut butter. I do I get to show everybody that Yes, you have I have a key ring that I carry with me all the time to oh. think about Lee, peace, love, and peanut butter to all of you. Peace, love, and peanut butter, everybody. Thank you, Kira Kennedy, for everything that you do. Have an amazing rest of your day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in, friends. There are two ways you can support this podcast. Firstly, become a paid member of our YouTube channel. Secondly, you can join our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Both have options for exclusive ad-free content and early release content. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you leave and check the show notes for more information. Now, this is what you should check out next.